or uh, different ethnicity, different race. You have to constantly do that. So as what can you control? Well, number one, you can check your bias. How many have been through implied bias training? If you haven't, make sure you do it. It's very valuable. Uh, check your bias. Every case that you deal with should be about racial justice. Even if everybody in your courtroom, if you're white, old white guy like me, and everybody else in the courtroom is an old white guy, even the defendant on the speeding case, you still have to figure out, am I treating this person the same way I would somebody who is younger, different age, or uh, different ethnicity, different race? You have to constantly do that. So as what can you control? Well, number one, you can check your bias. How many have been through implied bias training? If you haven't, make sure you do it. It's very valuable. Uh, check your bias. Every case that you deal with should be about racial. White people superior at. <laughs> what exactly are white people superior at? They're real good at violence. Violence. Genocide. It's like stealing people's lives just because they feel like it. If you are white and you know this is happening and you say nothing, then you're a killer too. What exactly are white people superior at? Insecurity, pretending, fear, being fearful of nothing, being ignorant, blame, letting their egos control their every move, superior at being dicks. What exactly are white people superior at? Oppression, gaslighting, lack of empathy, intellectualizing oppression. Did I say oppression? What exactly are white people superior at? Taking what's not there. Taking shit. Taking our ideas. Copycatting. Gentrification. Appropriating things that do not belong to them. Taking over other people's cultures and making you believe that they invented it. Maybe they're thinking of it as repurposing. It's like recycle and repurpose. As my grandma would say, then white folk, they'll take it if you don't copyright it. They are very good at destruction of land, destruction of people, destruction of humanness. Republican, whether you're Democrat, whether you're conservative, like white people are really good at upholding white supremacy. Wow. I'm sure no one here is shocked, man. <laughs> Most white people will hear that and feel like they deserve that. Press one. Most white people will hear that and feel like they deserve it. Hey, we deserve that for what our ancestors did. Um, salute to Margaret, man. Margaret, salute to her. She says, happy year, new year. I, best show on YouTube. Yeah, man. Salute to you, Margaret. And salute to Casey. Casey in the building. Oh, shout out to you. Product of Cook County. There's a whole video completely of, of projection. Yeah, man. Projection, man. Straight up and down, man. Nothing but projection, man. Privilege, I think power, access, luxury. A race, some good, some bad. Can't be critical of all whites, but there is a strong element of racism in white Australia. I think of Iggy Azalea and Miley Cyrus. White is a way of being, doesn't always mean skin color. It's a way of thinking. When I think about white, I think about Maybe a group of people who I would love to be in harmony with, but don't always feel like they feel the same way towards me. <laughs> Why don't you go back to Kenya, man? There's some people that, that's looking to be in harmony with you in Kenya, man. This is a Kenyan-American, man. Living in New York City, man. <laughs> Bitching about white people. Hey, uh. me white run controlled system not understanding they don't acknowledge what has happened in the past they don't try to understand as well they just push it off and say that it's in the past what i think when i say the word white first word that comes to mind would be privilege arrogance naive so there's just several things throughout the course of history that white 
people have taken advantage of. Not all of them are like wallowing um, freely and shamelessly in their privilege, but it seems like the ones that are are typically male. What's a straight white men good for? Straight white men? Yeah. Not a lot. How's it going? My name is Jess and this is Reason. So here in Shoreditch asking people, are straight white men the problem? What are straight white men good for? Ooh, that's a hard one. I don't Making it so your ass isn't fucking through. Yo, could you imagine this guy's life with, let's just say he was who he was, right? He could not live openly walk down the street freely in any society other than one built by straight white males. This guy's life would already be over in any society not built and contained by straight white males. I will tell you now, a society built by straight black males this guy would be in trouble. Straight Sandman males. Salute the cool cat, man. Cool cat in the building, man. Says, much love, boss and nation. Meow. No. <laughs> uh... Do you think straight white men are important? Oh. Do you think straight white men are important? No. <laughs> That's so disrespectful, man. That's you standing next to presumably a straight white male. You're a woman. You'd be you'd be in you'd be in like a slave um You'd be in a slave quarters, man. Um, you'd be in slave quarters in, in somewhere in the Middle East if it wasn't for if it wasn't for straight white males. <laughs> We're utter fucking trash. I mean, sometimes I like like how rational. Sometimes they might be like really straightforward, like uh, even about feelings. They are more like practical sometimes. What's our straight okay. white men good? For okay, he's the only. Well, at least he said something decent, nice. Sometimes for uh, being rude and. Um, Making you feel uncomfortable. What would you say that they're good for? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't know. Are straight white men important? I mean, they think they're very important. Um, you know, they're just as important as everyone else, but I do sometimes I get a bit inflated sense of <laughs> self. Do you think they're important? No. So what would you say they're good for? Um, I, I mean, they've got value, obviously, but the problem is that it's, it's been them exclusively. So they're, they're, they're good at things, but just not everything all the time. Do you think they're good for in society? If they're given their bank card, that's pretty good. <laughs> Do you think that they occupy too many positions of power? Yes. Like what? Uh, <laughs> what am I allowed to say? <laughs> what do you want to say? Um, straight white old men in government, I don't think have a clue on how people want to live or need to live. Do you think there are many straight white men in government? I believe there is, yeah. I think about white people in many different contexts and it's upsetting sometimes to think about how much whiteness invades my life and my mind like my world. I think deep down, a lot of people of color are scared of afraid of white people, honestly.
I'm angry at white people most of the time. <laughs> Yet she would never live in a non-white country. Shout out to LRLRS. Bipox Shakur says, in the words of the great chronicles of Judah, they just want a hug from the white man. He said that years ago and his words remain true. Yeah, but I, I get that. Um, Bipox, shout out to um, Chronicles of Judah. Um, I get that. But as a white man, I think you guys take things too lightly. And there I go. I'm just, I'm being just like them. I think straight white men take a lot of this slander and they let it roll like water off a duck's back. And you gotta, you gotta be careful, man. Yes, there's an element of wanting a hug. Yes, there's an element of basically worshiping white, straight white males as if they're magical beings and whatnot. But you got to be careful, man. There's an element in this that is insidious and diabolical. Press one. And just, you know, oh, they just want to be careful about that, man. Be careful, straight white man. Most of the time. I know that when white people look at me, there's almost always a projection that's going on, even if they like me. I don't like to talk about whiteness that much because I don't want to like create that category that's like being perpetuated all the time. We have to eradicate his whiteness. You know, this whole notion of white genocide. We don't want to kill white people. We want to kill whiteness. I think that white people are committed to being villains in the aggregate, right? The real sort of issue here, and I, you know, I've heard people sort of say it, is one, I think that white people viscerally fear. It's not that white people don't know, right, what they have done. They know. They fear that there is no other way to be human, but the way in which they are human, which is to, so, you know, like you talk to white people and whenever you, you really want to have a reckoning about it, they say stuff like, you know, it's just human nature. If y'all had all of this power, you would have done the same thing. Right. And it's like, no, that's what white humans. When black people have a fraction A black dude who's the man in his neighborhood is most times a sociopathic killer, a womanizer, a serial breeder, a vain, glorious idolater of fashion and trinkets. And that's just being like the man in on his block. It's just human nature. If y'all had all of this power, you would have done the same thing, right? And it's like, no, that's what white humans did. White human beings thought there's a world here and we own it. Prior to them, black and brown people have been sailing across oceans, interacting with each other for centuries without total subjugation domination. You ain't sailed across nary a ocean. You brown people ain't sailed across nary a ocean. Unless you consider the Sandman, maybe the Sandman did, but none of you goddamn fucking sun turds sailed across Naria Ocean. Nation and colonialism, because they cannot imagine that there is another way to be. It is either that you dominate or you are dominated. And isn't it sad that 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 is spiritually who they are, and that they can't imagine a sort of more expansive notion of the world. The thing I want to say to you is we got to take these motherfuckers out. But I know, but like, we can't say that, right? We can't say, like, I don't believe in a project of violence. I truly don't. Because I think in the end that our souls suffer from that. A lot of conservatives in particular would say that the rise in Islamophobia is a result not of hate, but of fear, a legitimate fear, they say, of quote unquote jihadist terrorism, whether it's Fort Hood or San Bernardino or the recent truck attack in New York. Uh, what do you say to them? I would say uh, uh, our, our country should be more fearful 
um, of, of, of white men across our country because they are actually um, causing uh, most of the deaths within this country. We should be uh, profiling, monitoring, um, and, uh, and, and creating policies to fight the radicalization of white men. My concern is, uh, is doing away with whiteness. Whiteness is a form of racial oppression, sure. The suggestion is that it is somehow possible to separate whiteness from oppression, and it is not. And, and you, you want me to tell you how, how this guy's racist and arrogant? He knows that white people are always going to rise to the top. White people are always going to take on, the, going, to, going to be the, if you put, if you just throw, throw the balls out, it's kind of like basketball. If you just throw the balls out, the best players are going to rise to the top. He knows that if, if, if a thousand white people go to an African territory, it is million Africans. Those thousand white people are going to fucking colonize those million Africans. And they wouldn't even have to do it with force. They would just come, dig a well. The white, the black people would think they're fucking gods because they, 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 the black people didn't know the water was down there. And then they dig a well or something like that. And then they see a bunch of resources that the Africans weren't using. And they use then they then they harvest those resources. Then they figure out, hey, wait a second, we can get the black, we can get the Africans to do it for us. And they get the Africans to harvest the resources from their own land, and then the Europeans will take them and trade them somewhere else, build wealth. They just know that. Listen, man, he knows that Europeans always. Reign supreme when put in contact with other groups. He knows that. That's why he's saying this. Concern is, uh, is doing away with whiteness. Whiteness is a form of racial oppression, sure. The suggestion is that it is somehow possible to separate whiteness from oppression, and it is not. There can be no white race without the phenomenon of white supremacy. If you abolish slavery, you abolish slaveholders. In the same way, if you abolish racial oppression, you do away with whiteness. Treason to whiteness is loyalty to humanity. Your views are, are fairly well received in academia. Legi yes, they're legitimate. Not to say that everyone agrees, but sure. I could not point to any examples where it has provoked political censorship. A whiteness is an identity that arises entirely out of oppression. Whiteness is not a culture. It's not a religion. It's not a language. It's simply an oppressive social category. Blackness is an identity that can be plausibly argued. Black studies is the study of a people that has formed itself in resistance to its oppression. And the task is to bring this minority together in such a way that it makes it impossible for the legacy of whiteness to continue to reproduce. But this blackness you talk about can only exist within the framework of a white country because blackness on its own gets enslaved by Arabs, gets enslaved by A Asians, gets enslaved by Patels. The only way Africans can just be African and be this great race is in the framework of a white society that protects them from other races that would naturally subjugate them because of their inability to govern themselves, their inability to create industry, their inability to create weapons, superior weapons and military strategies, their inability to not fragment into small groups, their inability to work together so some people can, this, blackness can only exist within the framework of a white society. Or else it's just free labor for some other group. Press one. There's itself. And the one idea is how 
we are going to exterminate white people because that, in my estimation, is the only conclusion I have come to. We have to exterminate white people off of the face of the planet to solve this problem. Now, I everyone hit the like button, man. A thousand, man, we should have a thousand likes tonight, man. I mean, come on, man. If you're not hitting the like button to this, man, tonight, man, something wrong with you. Everybody hit the like button, man. We're going for we're going for 300 likes, man. I don't care whether you clap or not, but I'm saying to you that we need to solve this problem because they are going to kill us. And I will leave on that. So we have to just set up our own system and stop playing and get very serious and not be. Meanwhile, the African population has exploded since the beginning of colonialism. Since colonialism started, the African population has exploded. By the year 2100, there's going to be 88 million people in Lagos alone. Be diverted from coming up with a solution to the problem and the problem on the planet is white people. It's not the racist white person who's in the Ku Klux Klan that we have to worry about. It's the white liberal Hillary Clinton supporter walking her dog in Central Park who would tell you right now, she, you know, she, people like that, oh, I don't see race, race is no big deal to me, I see us all as the same, I give to charities, but the minute she sees a black man who she like me, who just wants to get her number, man, and take her out on a date. She got the nerve to tell me no, man. All I wanted to do was get her number and take her out on the dinner. And she acting all scared and shit, man. Boo hoo, man. Poor me, man. Hey, everybody, I'm a victim, man. Every white girl I approach don't give me her number and drop the drawers, man.